Now let us see what is this sorption and desorption is. So sorption is a phenomena of adsorption and absorption occurring simultaneously is called desorption. So what is sorption? When your absorption and adsorption is occurring simultaneously that is known as your sorption. Both of them are occurring, right? One process is coming onto the surface. One process is going to the bulk in a uniform. But when both of them are happening simultaneously, that is an example that is known as your sorption. AD, AB remove, just your sorption is left, right? Uh, so this is how it happens. So as you can see, particles are both going into the bulk as well as the surface of the adsorbent and this process is known as your sorption right now what is desorption the phenomena where a substance is released from the surface or through the surface that is known as your desorption right the opposite of adsorption right the opposite of adsorption is known as your desorption when the particles are coming on the surface adsorption when particles are leaving the surface, desorption, right? Very clear things. Adsorption coming onto the surface, desorption going away from the surface. That is the difference between them. Sorption is a different thing. When both of them, both processes, adsorption and absorption occur simultaneously, that is sorption, right? Desorption is opposite of adsorption, but it is not opposite of sorption, right? Very take a very good care of it. So now you can see first the particles came onto the surface, right? This process is adsorption. And when the particles will leave the surface, this process is known as your desorption, right? If you want to see sorption process again, you can look over here. In the case of sorption, both absorption and adsorption is occurring this is your sorption in case of desorption it is opposite of adsorption first the particles will come onto surface this is your adsorption and when these particles will only remove from the surface this is your desorption right take a very good care of it most of people do this mistake that they think desorption is opposite of sorption no desorption is opposite of adsorption